Good morning, good afternoon, and good night. Thank you for taking time out of your day to watch this Patriot Plumber Report. So today I am going to do a review on the My Patriot Supply Stove and Portable Heater. It's pretty cool. I've done some tests on it so far and it is amazing. So first of all, what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you all the parts and everything that it came with and just kind of give a breakdown on um, the accessibility, the portability, all that good jazz. So give me one second. Okay, so it comes with two of these uh, six hour canned heats. It's all compact. It's, I mean, it's all in one. So you got these handles on the side where you can pick it up. It's not too heavy, it's not too light, but it's very portable. So that's what it comes with. And I'll show you the breakdown in a second. Okay, so this is it all apart. So you can see it has this nice little door. And you just slide it open. There's going to be three spots for three different cans of heat. You just slide that right back in. It also comes on this side right here. A little snuffer. Now, I'm going to give you a little bit of information on that snuffer. When it comes time to using that, make sure you pull this out just a tad. Because it locks in once it's all in there and stuff like that. Okay, so... This is the fan, the heat fan. So there's no batteries, there's no nothing. These are like the same ones that you put on your stove, you know, and it causes the, the fan to move so you can circulate. All right, so it's pretty nice. It's got its little air vents, which then these heat up as well. Okay, so, so you can see it's, it's pretty big I mean it's probably eight inches long you know maybe four inches wide okay so one of the things that you need to know is this is the little grate so there's little tabs that you can see that it's got to sit on and all that stuff the only way to put this in is to keep that open so it can slide in there and then lock in so once that's done, you get your cans all ready. And I'm gonna get that all ready. Now one thing, one thing I wanna tell you too, is if you're gonna have this indoors, make sure there's something underneath it that's not gonna damage your table or you know your finish or anything like that. When I was testing it before the video, I did notice that my my table does get warm, so if you want to protect your finish and all that stuff, make sure you put something down underneath. Um, so give me one more second. I'm just paused right here. Ah! <laughs> okay, so now I've got it in the spot where I'm going to light it and all that stuff. And I'm going to show you that. So give me a quick second. Oh, just a reminder, this is the snuffer. Pull it out. So that when you do have to pull it out and snuff it out, you're not fiddle farting around, you're not burning yourself. This is already out, ready to go. All right, so I got this. It's a little plasma lighter. I got it through my Patriot Supply. I love it. Works in the rain, the snow, everything. So let me flip the camera around. Let's get these guys going. All right, once you get it going, just kind of let it get it going a little bit. Slide this bad boy back in, all nice and gentle. Once again, you see I, I put a little little pot holders down there and all that stuff, and you know, just so it doesn't get the table all nice and warm and all that stuff. So once you then get it going, you just take this bad boy. You know what I'm gonna do? Cause it's kind of a little awkward and I don't have Shaquille O'Neal hands. I'm going to pause it for a second. Okay. I got it on. And another tip too. So you're not freaking out to lock this in. You got to open this up a little bit. And what it's going to do is you're going to slide it in and then boop. And then it locks in. 
So now that I've got that going, it takes just about a minute and the fan will start to kick on. Now when I did my first test with this, I'm just in I'm just in one of my spare rooms. I've got a thermometer right here. It says right now it's you know I keep it about 67, 68 in my house. So I've got my thermometer in there and all that stuff. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna kind of monitor the heat in there. I'm gonna shut the door. Also, I'm gonna crack my window a little bit. Anytime that you guys are using any kind of flames in a house, even though they say it's odorless, make sure you have a carbon monoxide tester and also make sure you have good ventilation. Key, ventilation, ventilation, ventilation. You wanna wake up in the morning if you're trying to heat yourself during an emergency situation. So, let me flip it around. And boom, you can see. It's already kicked on. It's ready to go. Now, the only one down thing about this unit is it only came with two cans of heat. But there's three three spots. They could have gave us the three. You know, and then sell them in three packs and not two packs cuz it's kind of kind of weird, but Hey, I'm still happy with it. I, you know, I'm just going to order more canned heat uh, through my Patriot Supply. Or you can actually find ways to make it yourself. I did watch a video the other day where um, this couple was showing how to make canned heat. So, you know, during these times, you know, I know the prices are just skyrocketing. So, you know, it's it's easier to order. But you know what? What, what happens when we can't order anymore? You got to learn how to do this stuff on your own. So I highly recommend you looking at some videos on YouTube on how to make canned heat as well. Uh, and then just start having that already. Uh-oh, somebody just came in. Let me show you who came in. What's up, Ellie? You got your little Star Wars chew toy? Hi. Hi. Get away from that heater, okay? And then look, there's my, my power right there. AC 200 Max, the EB70S. And now this is the EB3A. I won that on the giveaway uh, on the Blue Eddy Instagram. So it's going. The heater's on. I showed you how easy it is. I believe right now it's on sale for 109 bucks. I highly recommend putting this in with your arsenal. Now you can throw this in to your camp tent. You can stay warm there. Or if you had two or three of these and your power went out, at least you know you've got heat coming in. And that's, that's key because when you're cold and you, your mind works differently. So it's always good to have your food, your power, your heat in an emergency situation. So be prepared. Um, I'm going to pause this because what I'm going to do is I'm going to shut the door and I'm going to show you how warm this little guy will get this room. So I'm going to pan you. This is just one of my spare rooms. There's my... Oh, there's my K2 power bank that I'll be giving away. I got another one I'll be giving away because I'm almost to 300. So this is just one of my empty rooms. It's pretty big. You can see how big it is. So then what I'm going to do <coughs> is I'm just going to shut the door and I'm going to check my thermometer. It says right now it is 67 degrees. So I've got the little heat space heater going. And here's some of the specs. You know, I'm, I'm kind of the guy that I just want to show you the technical stuff that you should be doing on your own. But let me show you. This is, uh, it weighs nine pounds. So it's not that heavy. Uh, warms up to 200 square feet. 200 square feet. That's pretty badass. Now, I only have two cans of heat in there. If I had three, I bet you anything it would get a lot warmer. Um, and you know what else is cool? is if you don't want to use the heater take the heater off and remember that grate that i was showing you that the heater goes on you can now use this as a stove top so you can cook so it's a double whammy i mean you can't beat that 109 bucks double whammy stove heater indoors i mean it's amazing so let me just one more time and show you so the handles now if you do have to move this for some reason this does get hot 
this got taut, so you kind of got to basically crimp it on the sides, you know, like hold it away like that because it will get hot. But, you know, make sure you got your lids, your snuffer, you know, your plasma. This thing's awesome. I've never seen one until I got one. That's pretty cool. And you know what's even better than that? It's rechargeable. You don't need fuel. That's that's badass. Okay, you guys. Thank you for tuning in to this Patriot Plumber report. Um, just showing you little arsenals that you can put, in, little things that you can put in your arsenal, like this heater, now, especially for camping emergency situations, uh, and then so on. All right. Please like, subscribe, tell your friends, share. It's all right down there. And I do, do appreciate you guys so much. Now, just to let you know, I am close to the 300 subscribers. Woohoo! I'm stoked. Guess what happens at 300? I give away the K2 Power Bank. This thing is pretty cool. I mean, you it comes with 187 watts of power. So you can do your phones, you can do your laptops, you can do your drones, you can do all of that stuff. It's amazing. So when I hit 300, I'm going to put everybody in a little hat. I'm going to pull it out and I'm going to give away the K2 power bank. All right, you guys, thank you so much, you know, for joining my, my channel. You know, if you want links to the Blue Eddy, you know, they're going to be down below. Just check it out. The AC 200 Max is on sale right now for just over $1,500. Now, you're thinking $1,500, oh my God, that's a lot. But do you know if you give up one coffee at a stand, just one, if you're a two cup coffee person, you know, great. Give up one for one year. You can still have your coffee, but just give up one of those in a day and you have just saved enough for the AC 200 Max. So if you don't want to be ready and prepared and you're going to be out in the cold, you're going to be one of those people that are not going to be able to make it, keep with your coffee. If you don't and you want to be prepared, give up that coffee or give up the energy drink. Uh, you know, give up something so that you can prepare it in the future. Because you know what? Coffees, energy drinks and just stupid stuff isn't going to feed you, isn't going to keep you warm. <laughs> so... Thanks again. God bless. Have an amazing day. And we'll see you on the next report. Okay. I am doing a little follow-up like I said I would. Uh, I've got the heater going. And my thermometer says it is 71 degrees in this room. Started off about 67, 68 I don't have the heat on in my house because it stays pretty warm up above uh, in my living room. My thermometer says it's about 68. So it has gone up uh, to 71. So it's gone up about four degrees and it's really nice and comfortable in this room. So if you had to use this uh, for emergency situation or camping, this is great. And see, it's still got it. The fan's still going, you know. This is the box it came in. It's a great space heater, InstaFire Fiesta. Oh, there's a there's Elizabeth. How you doing, babies? But there's my follow up. I mean, I can I can feel that heat at least 12, 13 inches away from the plant, from the the unit itself. Okay, win win situation. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed this. Like I said, like subscribe. Tell your friends, share, 300's right around the corner, I'm gonna give away, you know, it's a $120 uh, gift. I just wanna say thank you to everybody that, you know, has subscribed, tell your friends and family. Uh, so I'm gonna give it away. Anyway, this is it. I hope you enjoyed and I'll see you on the next report.